Hey guys, you ever tried in fly fishing? And today we're gonna to be tying a rump shaker. It's a cool little red fish fly. Uh, does a really good job of imitating a fleeing shrimp. It's really great in shallow water, one to three feet deep, and has good movement and good profile. Let's get started. Okay, so in the vise today, I have a Gamakatsu SL11 in a size one. And I'm just gonna use Uni ADOT thread and brown. Um, so I'm just gonna start this right behind the eye. I'm going to create a small little thread bump right here, and I'm going to use that to pull my bead chain eyes against so they can really crank them down. All right, and figure eight through that. Okay, perfect. So bring your thread back to the bend, and then leave that there. I'm going to hit this with some super glue to really make sure my eyes don't go anywhere. Um, just a nice little step I like to add. Okay, so the first material I'm going to tie in is going to be some rubber legs. And I have hairline crazy legs in a barred olive. So I want to grab two of these and I'm going to tie them at different lengths. So my short ones I want just longer than the hook shank. So I tie those in right on top. And then I'm going to grab these and pull them back and tie those in and bring them down the bend just a little bit. Cool. So I'm going to trim these so they're a little bit longer than the other ones. I'm actually going to take a little length out of these in the bottom here. Okay, that looks good. So the next material I'm going to tie in is going to be some cream craft fur. So I want a piece of craft fur, a chunk of craft fur that's just thicker than a standard pencil. Just clip that off close, um, strip out all the short fuzzy fibers that you don't need, and then I'm going to take a measurement, and I want it to extend about a hook and a half, maybe two hook lengths, and I'm going to lay that right up on top of the hook shank, and tie it in. So a key feature to this fly that makes it swim correctly is having the craft fur up at a 45 degree angle. So how I'm going to achieve that is I'm going to throw a single wrap around the butt of this. You can see that cranked it up there a little bit. So I'm just going to reinforce that and I'm going to take some wraps down behind this as well. That's about right. So at this point here, I'm going to grab a olive marker and bar my craft fur. So I'm just going to take the chisel side and just create barrings on either side. Three or four. It doesn't really matter. Just get them in there just for some contrast. Looks about right. So my next material that's really going to help this fly breathe in the water is going to be some arctic fox in olive and i'm going to take a measurement and i want this to extend about there about halfway up the craft fur so i'm going to take out some of this excess material in the butt i'm going to tie it in um, spin my thread counterclockwise and throw two loose wraps on it and i'm going to tighten and push it around and pull it around Make sure it kind of comes all the way around. And just spread that evenly, 360. And then once I have it, I'm just gonna tighten down. Cover those butts up. And then from here, whoop, I'm gonna grab a piece of crystal flash, um, just a single piece in black. And I just want that to extend on either side of my tail. So loop it over and just pull it back. Perfect. Let's trim that so it's about the length of the craft fur, maybe a little longer. The next material I'm going to tie in is going to be an EP Wooly Critter brush. And I have it in Sculpin. And it's the 0.5 half inch diameter. So tie that down. And I'm going to pull this wire back here so I don't have to cut it and make sure that my brush is really secure. Okay, make sure I tie that down fully and then bring my thread back. 
So when I uh, polymer this forwards here, uh, I'm going to pay special attention that I don't trap any fibers and that everything lays nice and tight and neatly together. I do have this little bump from tying the materials, so just polymer over that. Uh, at the end here, after I tie it in, one thing I like to do is just grab a little piece of Velcro and hit it and kind of loosen up everything that I trapped. So right behind the eyes there, I'm just going to tie that down. I'm going to grab a junky pair of scissors here and trim out this wire in the middle. There we go. So just come around, tie that down. Make sure you got it good. Then I'm going to grab my piece of Velcro. And with my Velcro, I'm just going to brush this out. Just make sure it didn't trap too much. All right. So I'm going to come around and just clean this up. And right here, I'm going to invert the fly. And then I'm going to grab, I have, I think this is 25 pound Mason Hard Mono. Um, but between 20 and 30 pound is good. And I'm going to use this for my weed guard. So what I like to do is just kind of fold it over. Hook it over the eye here and leave a little bit extended down so that I can tie it in. Uh, kind of get it on there and adjust it. I like to take a wrap here too. So once I have that tied in, I'm going to pull this up. There it is. Kind of adjust it again. Take some wraps. I'm going to take a couple wraps in front as well just to kind of kick it up a little bit. All right, so what I like to do here is whip finish. And then trim my weed guard. So to trim this weed guard, I like to take my scissors and lay them right on the tip. Just trim them pretty much flush with that tip. Cool. So the next step, um, is to grab some Loon UV epoxy and thick. And what I'm going to do is squeeze it down here in between the eyes and onto my weed guard at the same time. So what this is going to allow me to do is to quickly position my weed guard so I have it in the exact place that I want it. And it also reinforces my eyes. So come around the bottom here and do the same thing. Just cover up all my thread wraps and kind of create like a little mask around these eyes. Hit it with my light and that's just about it. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you hit subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified of all of our future fly tying videos and we'll see you next time.